David Likens here. Going to do a quick walk around on this 2017 Paddle King Low Pro Cruiser. Uh, I'll show you a few of Paddle King accessories and then I'll show you a few of the dealer installed items that we do or, and have the ability to do for you to really tailor the boat to, to suit your family's needs or your needs depending on uh, your use for fishing or just pure enjoyment. But anyway, this boat uh, comes stock with a standard live well. Bimini top, mooring cover, navigational lights, and mooring light. Uh, you also get five 12-inch diameter pontoons under the boat. Uh, it is seven foot wide, 15 feet 10 inches long from tip to tail. Uh, the walking deck size is 12 foot 7 inches. Uh, out of correction, 12 foot by 7, so you get a ton of space. There are two different floor plans. There's a floor plan number one and a floor plan number two. This is floor plan number two, which gives you the two removable captain's chairs on the front. Uh, also for 2017, they went to a 12 inch rim torsion axle, move the axle back six inches further uh, for traveling. You can get this trailer uh, like this one, which is powder coated, or you can get it galvanized. The spare tire and wheel is optional and the trailer is optional, so it's nothing that you have to buy. Uh, so as we walk around, you can see that they do have the splash guards on the front of the boat, uh, the LED navigational lights. The four inch cleat there is a dealer installed option that we do install and bolt in with stainless steel hardware. Uh, don't waste our time with little screws, they can back out. Uh, great color for this year. This is burgundy and tan. It's a brand new color for 2017. As we come around to the rear, the pump there, uh, which is protected very well by aluminum, is the pump for the live well. Uh, so it's always submerged in the water. Uh, the beautiful thing about this boat is it can float in really about 10 inches of water um, so you can get into some really shallow areas. Now on this one we did install the Tahatsu 9.8 four-stroke motor. Uh, runs off basic 87 octane fuel uh, and we did mount the fuel cell on the outside just to give us a little more storage room uh, on the inside which we'll show you here shortly. That prop is a four blade prop uh, and the 9.8 motor is the introductory motor to allow us to hook it up to a remote steer or steering wheel and throttle versus your older tiller style handle. So as we go around here you see there's your throttle plate, uh, give you a little bit better look at the Bimini top which again is standard, it does come with a boot. Uh, this feature right here is what's called a hinge pin clip which basically allows us to take this connection right here and move it to here to allow the top to lay completely flat so that way you can travel it down the road or store it in a very low uh, barn or lean team that you may have. Coming back around as you see the other cleat navigational light uh, this is a Paddle King three-step stainless steel ladder. Really nice feature to have. Uh, super easy to use. Stows away very nicely. Show you kind of what it looks like up so when we're done, there it is, flips over, nice and easy, and it's out of the way. So as we enter the boat, this is a new feature also for this year, is the half gate. So when the gate does shut, uh, it does allow a little more air, makes it feel a little bit more open, uh, and has a locking spot right there. This is one of the two cup holder rod holders that are standard in the Paddle King boat as well. There's one there on your starboard side and another here on your port side. Now we did add an extra rod holder, knife holder, net holder there. Uh, it gives you a little bit bigger shaft and, and things like that because uh, some of our customers said that it would be a nice feature to have. And these are the live well cushions and storage well cushions. This is a Paddle King accessory. They are removable for when you travel. Uh, you don't have to order them. This is also a removable table that Paddle King offers. As we move to the back of the boat, the steering console again is an option from Paddle King. On this one, uh, we ordered it with it. Uh, we did install just a nice, simple, basic uh, radio system. As you can see there, uh, the Tahatsu motor, electric start, electric choke, uh, does have a pull handle just in case the battery system does go down. Uh, lifting up the rear port seat, have some nice storage, and these are the new seats for 2017 as well. 
Uh, obviously, Coast Guard required fire extinguisher. And then moving around here, we did add a 12 volt charging port for your cell phone or any other device that requires 12 volts of power. And then, then your radio mount, uh, MB Corp Bluetooth, really nice, great sound, marine antenna. And there's your throttle. Give you another look at the floor plan here. Once again, this is your storage box. There's your tote uh, boot cover for your bimini. And then over here on this side, just to let you look at the live well, this is your drain tube. You just pull this straight out, drains right back into the bottom of the lake. And this is your filler spigot, in which is adjustable for the flow just by simply spinning it. And these do lock down and snap to keep from floating when you're driving down the road. Again, this is the 2017 Paddle King Low Pro Cruiser Boat. My name is David Likens. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a like. Uh, feel free to subscribe to our videos. Uh, we put a lot of neat stuff up. We customize these, and this is kind of basic, and we get pretty extreme, too. Feel free to check out some of the other videos. Uh, my name is David Likens, 573-204-7777. If you have any other questions about the Paddle King lineup, please feel free to give me a call. Uh, we can really get them to you just about anywhere. Thanks for watching.